This is a mosque called Lopopunea Fedusa. And this is Lukoki, a 12-year-old girl that found this mosque near her house where she lives with her sisters and parents in Kilueka, in the Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa. And that's the field where she found the mosque. And Lukoki brought the moths to our laboratory in Kilueka because she knows that we breed them. Lobo Bunea Fedusa is a very, very big moss, 20 centimeter wingspan, but there exist different subspecies and species. Sometimes difficult to decide which species it is. But we know this is a female and we know we should find a male. How we do that? Yes, we wait for the night, because the males, they fly around only in the night. And to attract these insects, we have developed a light trap made with special lamps that emit light in very special frequencies to attract the mosses. It's a small light trap that we can run with a battery that's nice in a place where there is no electricity like Kiloeco. But waiting can be long because mostly the big mosses they arrive in the morning hours after 3 o'clock when temperatures are low, um, humidity is high and dew can be found on the leaves of the plants. But here we have already one. It's a beautiful Puneopsis licharbas. One of the many beautiful mosses that arrive here in Africa at the light trap. But we are only looking for a male of Lobo Bunea Fedusa for the female that Lukoki brought to our laboratory. And we have to hurry because this Saturnid mosses, they only live three to four days. They don't even have mouse parts to eat and drink. So we have to find a partner very fast. Another beautiful moss here, Pseudopunea pollens. With the help of a lot of friends, we could identify practically all of these species. Conimbrasia rectilineata here. Mostly males. Practically 99% males arrive at the light trap. The females, uh, they stay hidden and wait for the males to arrive. That's why the males have this big antennas. It's a chemical receptor for the pheromones of the females. But suddenly behind me in the grass, it, something moves and look how happy I am. It's a Lobo Bunea Fedusa male. So we found a partner for the female that Lukoki brought. We put them together in this uh, aerarium, a cage made with a fine netting and hope that they mate very soon. And four o'clock in the morning another male arrives, also this one freshly emerged from the pupa and looking for a female and also this male we bring together with the female in the herarium. Yeah, and then the job is done. We can go to sleep for one hour. We have two males. The morning comes with a lot of rain, heavy rain, sometimes here in Africa in the rainy uh, season. One and a half meter of rain each year and it can last long. But our males and female Meanwhile, Lukoki is at school in Kiala, 
That's the schoolhouse. Where they are. That's the schoolhouse. Where they are singing in mathematics. As you can see here, infrastructure is very good. And the children do not need to change. In the afternoon, Lukoki visits our laboratory to see what her moss is doing. And things go fast. They already have made it and the female already has started to lay eggs. We also rear another generation of these famous copper caterpillars in the laboratory because we want to find a technique to domesticate them and to rear them like we do with uh, cows and pigs and uh, chicken. It's one of the most famous edible insects here and one of the biggest. Up to 20 grams, one of these green huge caterpillars. In the nature you don't find them in groups, they are mostly singly and pretty rare. On the market you can't find them, they are instantly eaten in the villages if they found it. In the laboratory we breed also Samia origini, completely domesticated caterpillar from, from India originally. Probably in some years we also can breed Kaba uh, like Samia origini. That would be nice because for so many people it would be good to uh, develop agricultural processes to rear the caterpillars that are so important as a protein source for the people here. And thanks to Lukoki, we now have a female that laid eggs, 250 eggs uh, she laid, and more than 200 little offsprings the moss of Lukoki produced. Mm -hmm.